So the question to this video is why on earth are Apple products priced so high for what they offer spec wise? You see, if you look at this MacBook, look at those specs and look at that price. That is unbelievable. There's no reason why it's that expensive. Or at least that's what you might think at first. Let's get into the details. So the first thing you have to understand is that they are not, Apple's not pricing their systems based off its hardware. They're pricing it based off the software. Final Cut Pro, Mac OS, all those are what they're basing the price off of. So even if they have low end specs, Mac OS is very optimized and that's the reason why it's so expensive. The second thing I must say is that Mac OS is pretty much the fastest OS out there when it comes to productivity. Windows and even Linux and basically every other operating system on the planet, none of them can beat Mac's optimization for productivity in business. For example, video rendering, photo rendering, whatever that is, I don't know. All those kind of things, game rendering, Unity 3D, all those kind of things run so much faster on Mac OS. And I'd say the reason for this is that Mac came out a lot earlier than Windows and Linux, for example. And so every business who needed a computer basically got Mac. And so Mac was the one who got optimized for all the business programs first, and then Mac got to patent all the things of course and so that's why windows and linux don't have this stuff at the, the stuff they need to catch up which is why mac is still the leading os and apple's still the leading manufacturer when it comes to business and productivity the third thing to mention is their build quality the macbooks every imac or whatever even the new imac that's coming out uh, all their products, the build quality is just so good. For example, their MacBooks, yes, they're low spec, but they they make up for it with the OS. It's just so fast, and the laptop is very light, and the warranty is good, and basically their build quality is really good. Even the packaging. Well, I actually don't know about the packaging. Overall, the build quality is the best you can get out there for a PC, which is why I'm putting this as the third reason why Apple is so expensive. The fourth reason is their OS once again. It's just so polished because I believe it's since it was basically the first operating system and businesses took it on faster than Windows, because of that it got polished for businesses. So it needs, it has to be reliable, which is why it doesn't crash as often. For example, I don't know, I don't even know if Mac has a crash uh, screen. Windows has a built-in one, the blue screen. But anyways, so Mac is very polished, and that's another reason why business people choose it, because it doesn't crash very often, and it's just so fast. Okay, so the fifth one is probably the most straightforward. Why is Apple so expensive? It's because they're not meant for normal people. Apple products are not meant for normal people, they're meant for business people. If you own a YouTube channel and you need to render videos very quickly, a uh, MacBook or something like that is what you should choose, and use Final Cut Pro because, e well, even even uh, if you use Adobe, Adobe renders faster on Mac OS than it does on Microsoft, so even for that, then, a Mac would be good, but if you're making games, or you're rendering videos, or you're doing Photoshop, all of those things will be faster on a MacBook, and those are all business things, not normal people things. So if you're a normal person who just browses the internet, go ahead and get a very low-end Microsoft PC for about $200, and you're good to go. But if you're doing business, then Mac OS is what you want, and you should choose an Apple product. So overall, the reason why Apple products are so expensive is because they're meant for business and not for normal users. So anyways guys, I hope this video was helpful, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope now there'll be a lot less, uh, well, probably there's gonna be a whole bunch of Apple hate comments in the, dis in the comments section, but follow me on my Twitter and Instagram handles for updates on the $50 budget gaming PC, and that's about it, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. 
You know, there's one strange thing I noticed. My 1050 Ti seems to make a lot of coil whine when the fan goes pretty much up. And what's weird is that the coil whine only started ever since I started mining with my RX 480, so I don't know what's with that.